How do you know when you're a pro? Hello YouTube, my name is Matt Spa and I am a photographer, videographer, and as of late a very busy boy in Atlanta, Georgia. I have just wrapped up third quarter of 2019 and it was the busiest third quarter that I've had in the history of my company, which started way back in 1998. It was not the most profitable third quarter, but by far the busiest, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about professionalism and I couldn't escape it. I, I started to think as I looked at the amount of work that was done just in the last three months at the differences between my early career as really strictly a graphic designer and typographer and then my later career which involves a lot more photography and videography. And I was struck by some really major differences in how I perceived myself and whether or not I was a pro. When I was in fourth grade, my fourth grade teacher asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I emphatically told her that I was going to be a commercial artist because fine artists didn't make any money. And she laughed, but I was dead serious. Somehow, when those words came out of my mouth, it flipped a switch and I was a pro. I had no education, I had no experience. I did have a pretty good idea of what a commercial artist did, but it was that's a crazy statement for fourth grade. How old are you in fourth grade? Four and six is 10 years old, 10, 11 years old. Nevertheless, it started me on a path and the decisions that I made from there on out led me to a career in graphic design that I've enjoyed very much. I've worked for a number of agencies and worked for myself for over 20 years. But I never really doubted my ability when I was going to pitch a job or when something came my way that I couldn't do a nice job of it. Could I do work that would make the client happy and would satisfy myself? And I was really able to do that. About seven or eight years ago, I started transitioning more and more into photography and videography. As a photographer and videographer, I didn't feel like a pro. And then something happened that flipped the switch. I had a shoot with uh, a lady named Brenda. I had a 43 inch soft box with a grid in it, similar to what I'm using right now. And when she left the studio area to go to her stylist to get her hair touched up or something like that, that 43 inch soft box almost hit the floor. It just kind of started to teeter and totter and gradually it went. I grabbed it before it did hit the floor and was uh, exceedingly grateful that it had not fallen on her and hurt her, but I was also really, really embarrassed. I felt uh, about this big and I certainly did not feel like a pro. When that session wrapped up, uh, I went straight online and I ordered a proper C-stand. And a couple of days later that C-stand arrived and I broke it out and I set it up and it flipped the switch. All of a sudden, I was a pro. Basically, I had hamstrung myself for years just by having crappy stands. I don't know what that thing is in your head that's going to make you a professional, but it's in there if you think that you're not. And I'm guessing you're watching this video because you think that you're not and you're looking for some kind of insight and some words that I'm going to tell you that are going to convince you that you're a pro. I can't do that. What I can do is say that if you're watching and if you think you're not a pro, there's probably something in there that's causing that. This is all meant to help you find those things that are holding you back from doing really good work and work that you enjoy doing. I really enjoy what I do. And part of that is for me right now, being able to trust that my stuff's not gonna fall over. <laughs> so I hope that's helpful. I hope there's some little nugget of insight somewhere that will encourage somebody to do better work and maybe figure out what some of those little tiny stumbling blocks are that are messing with your mind and making you not feel like a pro. If you liked this video, and I hope you did, you can give me a thumbs up, you can subscribe, you can ring my bell, you can tell two friends about the great things you've seen here. If you didn't like it, the thumbs down button is always there, but leave me a comment, let me know what you didn't like about it. I want to try to make this better, but I'm not gonna make everybody happy all the time. So, that's it for me, have a great day.